Hello and welcome to the video. In this video, I'm going to discuss about the view filters in Revit. This topic is basically a part of uh, the view template creation. Okay, so I'll be creating a video on uh, view template also. Okay, so in this in this video, we're gonna learn is what is the purpose of view view filters in Revit? Types of view filters, how to create and apply rule based filters, and how to create and apply selection based filters. Okay, so what is the purpose? There are two uh, main purposes of this view filters. The very first purpose is to control the elements visibility. Okay, so once you have created those filters, you can control those elements visibility to show it or not inside the view. Okay, second thing is second purpose is you can control the graphics. You can apply the colors, you can change the line type okay so all those things you can you can control the graphics of those elements of those filters with the help of these view filters okay so these are the two uh, important purposes visibility and the graphics okay second is how many types of uh, view filters we have in revit so there are basically two types first is rule based filters second is selection based filters in a rule based filter, you have to create a rule or a condition to select those elements to control those elements visibility. Whereas in selection filters, you, ha you have to select the elements in Revit okay, manually and you can create a set like like we do in Navisworks. In Navisworks, we have an option called selection sets. Same uh, same type of filter we, we do have in Revit also. Okay, so these are the two types of view filters. How to create and apply rule based filters. So uh, this I'll explain you with the help of with the help of these tasks. Okay, as the task uh, number of tasks increases, the complexity will increase. For example, the basic one, the task one is, I have to uh, apply colors to the air terminals of supply air system. See, there are two things to remember in a rule based filter. In a rule based filter, there are two things. One is the category. Second is the condition. You must know these two things to apply a rule based filter. So in this task, I have a category called AI terminals. And the condition is I have to apply the colors only to the supplier system air terminals. Okay, so this is the condition and this is your category. This is your category. Okay, so let's jump on to Revit. Go to the Revit. I'll go to the 3D view. Okay, to have a better visibility of air terminals, what I'll do, I'll hide all those things except the air terminal. I want to see air terminals only. Okay levels as well levels okay so we do have air terminals on level one level two level three and roof uh so this is a roof level above so level one level two and level three have the air terminals okay how will you access uh the filters go to the view tab go to the view tab here we have an option called filters click on this filter Okay, this is the filter dialog box. What is our task? Our task is to apply colors on air terminals, which is of supplier system. Okay, the first step is create a new rule based filter. I'll give the name as air terminals. Air terminals. Click OK. Select this air terminal. Now you have to, second step is you have to select the category. So the category is, of course, air terminals. If it is not visible, drop down this, make sure to check mechanical and then select air terminals. So we have selected the category as well. Third step is to apply the condition. What is the condition? The condition is the air terminal should be of supplier. Okay. So this is the condition drop down box. Drop down this. I have a condition of say system type because supply air, return air, exhaust air, these are of system type. Okay. Drop down this. Here we have an option called system type. Click on the system type. 
E equals to supplier. Okay, we have created it. Click OK. Now go to the VG. We have to apply it also. Okay, creation is done. App, uh, now we'll apply that. Okay, go to the filter tab. Click on this add. Whatever you have created that will be visible in this dialog box. Click OK. I want to apply the say for example say red color to have a better visibility. Red color. Click OK. Click OK. Okay, so all the air terminals which are of supply type. See, for example, the, the color is not placed on this one. It's like this one because it is a return air. That is why the color is not placed. Okay, so only those air terminals which are having supply air system, the color is placed on that. Select this one. This is a return air. That is why the color is not placed. Select this one. This is a supply air. Okay, so our task one is complete done okay i'll open uh, so the task two is task two is apply colors uh, to air terminals of supply air system at level one now there are two conditions first condition is it should be of supply air second condition is it should be on the level one only Okay, now there are two conditions. Go to the Revit. What, I, what I'll do, I'll go to the filters. I'll go to the filters. Select this air terminal. I have, we have an option called add rule. Okay, add rule. Click on this add rule. Second rule is all the air terminals, which I'm selecting should be on level one of supply side. Drop down this. Do we have any parameter for level? Just check it. Okay, we have level equals to what I want on level one. Okay. Now, see, there are two things. There are two conditions of filter uh, filtering the rule, rule filter rules. Okay. And and or and means both the conditions must satisfy for each and every element. Okay. It should be a supplier air terminal and it should be on the level one. That means by the and condition. What is the or condition or means any of those either it is a supplier or it can be a level one. So there is no means to select this or condition. Always we generally we go with the and conditions. Or condition where you'll, where you'll use. Suppose, for example, you have multiple parameters and you want any of those parameters should match with the elements. In that case, you can use or. But mostly you'll go with the and condition that all these two rules must satisfy. Okay. Click on OK. Now, see, you will not. F this is level two and level three. Level two and level three, the colors has been removed. Okay, now only the level one air terminals will see supplier. Okay, the on this air terminal there is no color. Why? Because it's a return air. So our second task is complete. Second task is what? Level one air terminals of supply should have the colors. So second task is complete. Okay. Third task is third task is. I have to apply colors to the air terminals, which is of supplier system, correct? And those should be at level one. Okay, second condition. Third condition is, third condition is a nested condition. Why? Because it is having or. This is the third condition, okay? Third condition is the flow or the maximum flow should be less than 150 liter per second. This is the third condition. And inside the third condition, we have or condition. Okay. Flow, yeah, maximum flow. Okay. We have two parameters now in air terminals. You might have seen minimum flow and maximum flow. So go to the Revit. Go to the Revit. When you select any air terminal, uh, go to the array type. We have minimum flow and maximum flow. Okay, for supply, select a supply. 
minimum flow and maximum flow okay our tour uh, second task is, has been completed third task is to apply the colors only on those air terminals at level 1 supply side and having the air flow rate and uh, sorry flow and maximum flow less than 150 how you will do this how you will do this uh, again go to the filters select the air terminal now you have a option called add set you have an option called add set and you have seen that our third uh, condition is a or condition flow and maximum flow i'll click on this add set and i'll choose or because i have a flow and maximum flow okay click on this add rule air terminals i'll select flow where is that flow flow less than how much 150 again because there are two flow and maximum flow maximum flow is it okay maximum flow is less than less than 150 okay this sorry okay so uh, what do we understood th from this one these two condition must satisfy and out of these two anyone should satisfy either flow or a maximum flow this is called as nested condition nested rule this one is called as nested rule okay which will be used in such scenarios okay but mostly you'll use uh, this one okay okay click uh, okay now the color will only be uh, will only apply to those terminals which is having flow less than 150 let's check select this one what is the flow 75 correct okay select this one what is the 75 correct anyone okay this one select this one what is the flow 30 or else go to the edit type check the maximum flow maximum flow is 150 see now what's happening this is specifying either of the two condition flow is less than 30 but maximum flow is more than 150 so it has uh, satisfied the flow condition okay there is no and one that this should one this this also satisfy and maximum flow also satisfy okay so that is why it has colored in red one okay okay so this is uh, about your rule based filters okay creation and application fourth is how to create and apply selection based filters what are the selection based filters select element in revit and click on save selection okay let's jump to the revit i'll go to the floor plan i'll go to the floor plan so for example for example uh, i have this area okay and uh, for some reason i have to select the air terminals i have to select the air terminals this one and to return one okay anyhow it is taking time to select all those elements i have selected right so for future purpose if i want to select all this again that will again say uh, take the same time okay to reduce this time what i will do i will save this selection i will save this selection i have a tool called save in the selection panel you can do it from here also or go to the manage tab go to the manage tab in the selection panel we have save selection from both the side you can do click on this save selection you can say level one level one air terminal 80 okay level one air terminal so it becomes a selection now uh, we have okay we have done this for example in future i need to select again all those selection which we have which i have selected earlier 
again i have to do this no because i have select because i have created the selection set what i can do is i'll go to the manage tab i have an option called load selection click on this load selection okay this one i have created click okay so they have been selected this will save a lot of time of yours okay now how you will add these in those uh, filters okay when you go to the filters go to the view go to the filters here you will be having rule based filter we understood okay now it, there's a selection filter selection filter we have one which we you have created in that one that will appear over here okay you want to play with this through the visibility graphics in the view how you will do this uh, type VG, go to the filters. I'll just uh, remove this. These are the previous ones. Click add, click add. Okay, these are rule based filters and this is a selection filter. So it's your choice, you whichever you want to play. So I have created a selection filter level 180. Click OK, click OK. So that I have activated. Click uh, type VG again go to the filters here I want to hide those elements okay hide those elements of level 1 air terminals and check this okay those will be hidden okay by mistake it was selected okay so this is how you can control the visibility as well as you can control the patterns Okay, patterns means you can apply the colors. For example, you want to apply a red color to those selection set. Okay, you can apply that. Okay, that will be converted into red color. Only those elements which you have selected in the selection set. Okay, I hope this video will be, uh, you will find this useful. Okay, let me know in the comment section. Thank you.